Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna talk about Shang-Chi and that SP2 was a little bit of overkill uh, like it took him from 100% health to dead and we are also going to use him in Labyrinth of Legends but first we're gonna start it off with a simple damage comparison between him and Guardian because a lot of people have been calling him the skill Guardian in my opinion they're not too similar but if you are going to compare them then uh, Guardian is the tech Shang-Chi Alright, so let's just get started with this damage comparison. Both these characters, they're 565 champions, they're both running suicide masteries, they do not have any kind of special synergies here, and they are sick 200 as well. So it is a pretty fair comparison. With Guardian, I'm gonna go for a few special ones, then launch SP2. The last time I used him in the damage comparison video, it was against Hulkbuster and a lot of people commented that first uh, parry, the Ovenin special which is something that I am going to try to do here and also uh, to go for SP1 instead of SP3 because the animation and stuff will just take a lot of time. So now we are going to talk about Shang-Chi and his rotation. So he's a pretty simple character to play once you understand how he works. The only thing that you can forget is what combo you used earlier. And even if that happens, you can use one heavy attack and you can use everything once again. So depending on what kind of combo you use, you gain different piece of utility and you also gain chi charges. And how many chi charges you have based on that, like the more you have, the better damage uh, your SP2 is going to do. Uh, and the SP2 is going to consume all your chi charges. If you have more than four, you can use a heavy attack and convert uh, and not convert you can gain four precision buffs and that will not consume your chi charges so that is something that you should be doing uh, to increase your, the damage of your base and uh, not the increase like to get more crit so yeah in a way increase your damage but as you can see that he, he is going to win this by it's not going to be a huge margin because guardian after this sp2 will catch up but it is going to be an all right amount we're going to go for sp1 to finish it off i believe it's 17,000 crit pretty nice like for a 565 character i think he took uh, 103 hits or something we'll see in a second here but it took him it didn't take him that long uh less than two minutes i believe so that was a pretty impressive performance by him and guardian he will also be finishing shortly do not leave this video like i see a lot of damage comparisons where people see as soon as the first character wins but we have a lot more gameplay coming up uh, with the rank 3 Shang-Chi against Labyrinth of Legends, against Realm of Legends, uh, Juggernaut, where we are going to showcase the slow ability. And in order to get slow, you have to do medium, medium. I saw, I think MSD tweeted earlier, or someone tweeted that uh, Stelsu Spider Man used to be the best skill slow character, and now it's Shang-Chi. And I, I, and I agree. Shang-Chi's slow mechanic is really good. I'm sure you are going to see a lot of uh, fights against Abyss thing and also Abyss Liu Cage uh, also uh, the champion from 6.2 like I saw a small clip in the CCP chat from him going basically to his final phase straight away like skipping everything uh, so he's a pretty really really fun character let me talk about the different combos you can do this like medium light 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 medium and that will stun the opponent do one less light attack you will be unblockable one less light attack and you will uh, have cleanse basically shrug off the buffs and that includes the suicide mastery which is something that makes him pretty good for running suicide like you will still take the recoil damage because the damage is so good in most wise probably it will last like two sp2 the second special two will kill it and uh, that means like five percent damage every fight that's all right that's not bad maybe even one special two will kill the opponent but as you can see here we are usually not going to go for sp3 here we did i don't know why uh, I, I am also still new to playing shang tree he hasn't been in the game for that long there is a chance that uh, you know later on someone comes up with a better rotation uh, maybe even today someone comes up with a better rotation i haven't seen that many videos on shang chi just here uh, but I, I enjoyed playing him like so far definitely my favorite character since i have been in the ccp i think i was uh, in the month uh, immortal hulk and immortal abomination were added to the game i bomb was also really very really solid but after that i'd say uh, probably before him the most fun character was spider ham for me also his heavy range is so good I, I like i haven't missed a heavy attack with this guy so that that's just great and it's it feels like it's it has a great range 
Uh, and it's kind of like something that you need to do from time to time if you are going to play him. I don't think he's going to be the best character for stuff like Labyrinth or Abyss. He could be useful for the utility, but damage wise, he is not going to be close to a rammed up Gillies in 2099 or Aegon or even Star Lord for that matter would probably beat him because his damage output it goes up the more you crit but it doesn't go up as much as you would uh, as it would with star lord or she hulk or a character like that basically but uh, overall he's so much fun i think he will be one of those characters which you will use every single time irrespective of what quest it is because he just brings so much like let's just talk about uh, a report kind of a uh, report card kind of thing damage he has it the sp2 is guaranteed crit you don't even need the uh, to use the heavy attack for that he has a lot of damage the precision like even the uh, basic attacks they do a lot of damage utility he can stun the opponent so basically like if you if let's say the opponent is almost down and the uh, combo with the like we do a full medium light 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 medium that would stun the opponent you can go in do more combos so that's great uh, you can also get unblockable so which is always nice like <laughs> any character who can access unblockable whenever you want is great and then you also have uh, evade and auto block uh, not uh, evade and uh, unstoppable counter with the slow is very easy to get slow the only problem i have with that is you have to do medium medium which is alright for unstoppable but for evade characters if you are fighting them on stun immune nodes which is like if you are using them in a lance war most evade characters are placed on uh, stun immune nodes and uh, there like if you go for medium medium they often evades then you're pretty much screwed at that point like they will counter you uh, and like if you if they evade a light attack then you have enough time to recover but if they evade a medium attack and they attack you then you're pretty much done uh, so that that's a little bit annoying but other than that like he doesn't need any synergies uh, what else does he have he can shrug off suicide mastery and other debuffs like he has so much he also has like because of the precision buffs he can uh, deal with stuff like buffed up is he the best buffed up counter no but can he deal with them yes so that that's the thing like he is such a versatile character that it feels like in my opinion it feels like he is the best character release in a very very long time and uh, i am excited to see what other people people who are more skilled than me do with him in stuff like abyss uh, against like luke cage and I, I saw msd was using a three star against thing i i haven't seen the video like he has set it on premiere i think it's not even live yet while i'm doing the voiceover but i am very excited to see how that turns out but as you can see here uh, even like the basic crits because the more you create the more damage you have you also have a synergy with iron fist i think where you get more damage based on something uh, i'm not very sure about his synergies all i know is he doesn't need them it, all all characters these days they have decent synergies but uh, uh, right now we actually have a lot of charges so this next sp2 will hit pretty hard uh, i know i'm not sure why i went for the sp3 there you kind of have to keep your own power meter in check because sometimes you can be a little too aggressive because you have unblockable going you have uh, the opponent's turn at times so uh, like it has happened to me that i have pushed the opponent to the wrong special attack like if it is someone like hood where you don't want to push them to sp2 it has happened that i have pushed them but look at that sp2 50 000 40 000 40 000 40 000 50 000 plus some red numbers as well and those red numbers they're not huge they're not like odin's red numbers but they are pretty big as well so uh, definitely not negligible and uh, overall it's not a record time to take down uh, labyrinth star lord this guy does have a lot of health though he has like 3.3 million health points but it's really really good like it's not bad at all for a character with this kind of utility it is pretty unique uh like usually the character with this much utility have damage similar to you know clairvoyant warlock who not who don't have bad damage but at the same time they can't be doing like labyrinth fights this easily uh but this guy he has a lot of damage it's not damage over time so the damage cap definitely hurts him which is why you wouldn't want to build up too many charges anyways but thirteen thousand medium attack to end the fight there 
very very impressive stuff so now the final fight of this particular video do let me know if you want to see something else from uh, shang chi by the way but uh, here we are going to take him against realm of legends juggernaut i did a full realm of legends run wolverine kind of took a lot of time because uh, i um, i used sp2 when i had lower number of uh, g charges that didn't kill him then i was like you know what i'm already not going to do anything like record breaking time with him uh, for a speed run so might as well test out how much damage does the sixth rank three does at 100 charges and as you saw in the intro uh, he killed him in the first two hits of the sp2 so yeah but here as you can see like we basically have a full uptime on the slow uh, I'm not playing the best, but as you can see, like the you, we have two slows at the moment. The, it's a very long duration. Like look at that. You have plenty of time to use another heavy attack or use a special two, and then go for another. Now, now we have two slows again. So you you get that he is a great slow character. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Like this video. Share with your alliance. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Have a good one. Bye bye. Stay safe.